Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a part fall when touched. Just before the video begins, I would just like to say, my Discord server does now have a whole separate Roblox Studio section, with studio news, creations where people or players can post their cool creations they made in Roblox Studio or Blender, really any creations you have made online, feel free to post them in the creations. And then if you want people to rate them, simply add a exclamation mark right in your message here, just like I have done here. We have also got studio help. So if you are ever in need of help with any code, you can go and click on the channel and you're able to create a ticket. And then who manage the tickets will get back to you as soon as we can. And then you are also able to chat in the developer chat with other developers. But anyway, let's get into the video. So for starters, we're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are open. If Explorer and Properties are not open, we want to head to the top bar here, click on View, and enable Explorer and Properties. So now that we've enabled Explorer and Properties, we now want to go and make our part, which when the player walks over it, will fall. So you can make this a very simple part. This can be used in obbies, really whatever you want. For this tutorial, I'm also going to be removing the base plate, just so we are kind of in the void. So it gives a better demonstration so here's our spawn point just to make sure that's anchored make sure your part is anchored that we're going to add the script into so now that we've made our part we'll make this a little, tiny bit bigger so now that we've made our part we want to go and click on it and we want to change the name you don't have to but for this tutorial i'm just going to call it block then we want to go to the plus button here next to our part or block and we want to click the plus button and insert a script so now that we've inserted a script into our part, we want to go and remove all the previous code in the script. And you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description and bring it back to Roblox Studio. Control V, you right click paste and paste in the code. So we are able to add and adjust a couple things in the script. So let's say you want our part to change color when it is touched before it actually falls. Because basically what this does, this script here, if it detects a humanoid on the part, it will wait two seconds. You are able to adjust the wait time. Let's say you want it to be instantly. You just put it as like, I don't know, 0.5 or something like that. It will happen very quickly. Then what it does, so it waits two seconds. Then after two seconds, it will go to the script, to the parent of the script, and anchored equals false. So right now our anchor is true because our part is anchored. But the moment the humanoid is detected, it waits two seconds, then it will go script.parent.anchored would equal false, meaning it will disable the anchorage. So let's say you wanted to add a, a light or color detection. All we want to do, we want to go here and below if humanoid, humanoid then, you can decide if you want it to be after the two seconds or before. For this tutorial, I'm just going to put it before. So we want to go to we're going to start off with a, um, a material. So we're going to go script.parent dot material. Oops, sorry. Dot material equal enum dot material dot neon for this tutorial. I'm going to do it as you can decide whatever material you want that part to be if the humanoid is detected. And basically, what a humanoid is is basically your Roblox character. So dot neon. Then you can change this to whatever you want. Let's say you want to change it to a wood one or wood planks. You're able to do that. For this tutorial, I have it as that though. Then you want to make another line for the colors. You don't have to have the material. You can just only use this color one. It's up to you though. So script.parent.brickcolor equal brick color dot new. And then we want to do these. Oh, sorry. That. And we'll do. Let's say, let's go a, a really red because we want to kind of show the players that they don't have much time and that it has been activated. So now that we've done this, we want to go and click out of here and we want to go click play. So now let's just test it with no added colors into it. So the moment we jump on it, the part will fall after about two seconds. As you guys can see, we have just loaded into the base plate. And here we are standing on our spawn point. If you don't want to show the spawn point, simply put a, another separate part without a script above the spawn point. That's up to you. But for this tutorial, I'm, I really don't mind if it's there. 
So as you guys can see, the moment we step onto it, it will change to a neon red. And then the part will fall. You are also able to make multiple of these. So all you want to do is just duplicate it, drag it along. And let's go test it out. Make sure they are all anchored or they're just going to fall to the ground straight away. So let's go pl click play. And as you guys can see, we're on the spawn point there, 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 there. And as you can see, after about two seconds, they drop. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.